Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, um, this video is going to be another attempt at doing what I would call a use it up project or if you want to say project pan, although um, it's not makeup oriented exactly. I have a few cosmetic items, but nothing, you know, significant that I'm including. Uh, mostly what I would say is this is about skincare and body care for the most part and perfume. Um, I just, I, I'm trying this again. I think it's always good to be a work in progress. You can try something and fail and there's nothing wrong with that and there's no no, no shame in that. Um, the shame I believe is when you give in and you say it's impossible and I can't. And so it is not impossible and I can. <laughs> um, I have tried to tell myself that I am going on a no buy for skincare and um, makeup beauty products uh, for 2017. Now there is an exception to that. I have a, a you know, a lot of you guys know I uh, primarily my channel is Avon. I am an Avon representative. I'm an online Avon representative. And one of the reasons why I think I do pretty well at that is because I show a lot of the cosmetics on my channel. And I demo them and I do swatches, you know, etc. So that will continue. You don't have to worry about that if you're an Avon rep. You don't have to think I'm never going to buy another Avon makeup, lipstick, eyeshadow, anything like that again. That is not going to happen. Um, I will still continue to demo, purchase, haul Avon. Uh, I just am not going to go crazy with it. And I had kind of downsized the amount of my Avon purchases throughout the last like two years. You guys kind of know that anyways. Um, and when I first started the Avon channel, if Avon came out with 12 new eyeshadows, I bought all 12. If Avon came out with, you know, 12 new lipsticks, I bought nine, <laughs> you know. So that kind of stuff has been slowing down though. I've gotten to the point where I don't do that anymore. And um, I will still be purchasing some makeup. Um, I'm just not going to do it in the mass quantities and stuff like that. Um, but as far as shopping at Sephora, shopping at Nordstrom, shopping at Ulta, it, it doesn't, all my Korean skincare, shopping for sheet masks and stuff like that, it needs to be put on hiatus because I need to use some of my stuff. I need to use it. I ran out of space for everything and I need to use it. Um, if you're on my Instagram, you will re you will see that I recently did a huge sheet mask inventory where I organized all my sheet masks according to um, their expiration date. And I was really actually relieved when I got done because I thought I thought that maybe I was going to have like an, uh, a crazy amount of sheet masks that I would never be able to use up before they expired. And once I got them organized, I realized that I do have a crazy amount of sheet masks, but they go all the way through 2020. So um, I organized them into bins, ones that I need to use up in the next three months. Those are what I'm working on now. I have a 22 bins of 2017. I have a 2018 bin and a 2019-2020 bin. And the 2018 and the 2019-2020 bins have been put away. I don't even see them. They're not on my radar right now. So um, I'm only working, <coughs> excuse me, out of 2017. But anyways, before I get too much into that, I have taken an inventory. I'm going to share it with you guys. And then I'm going to show you a few things that I'm kind of working on. I, I don't really have rules for myself. I don't really have... You know, timelines, this and that. I'm kind of just because I freak out when that stuff goes on. <laughs> so I've taken notes and uh, inventory and I'm going to update monthly as I go through. And some actually of these are already different because since I took the inventory, I have finished some products. But I will do it an update um, at the end of every month so that you'll know where I'm at. So at the time that I took all these notes, um, I had 595 sheet masks total. 595. Um, 242 of those masks expire in 2017. So it is possible for me to use up all those masks this month. However, I probably will end up giving some away um, just because I don't mask every day. I mean, I'll mask sometimes four or five times a week, but I don't mask every day. I'll probably end up giving some away at some point. Um, but for right now, 242 masks that expire in 2017. Um, okay, so here we go on my skincare inventory. I have um, 
we're going to talk about cleansers. I have six deluxe cleansing samples. So those are like the little bottles that you get with like a code from Sephora or whatever. I have six of those that are unopened. Um, I have 22 full-size cleansers that are not opened. So it's 22 tubes, bottles, whatever of cleanser that are unopened. I have two full-size cleansers that are currently open. I have one oil cleanser that is currently open. I have two micellar water cleansers that are open. I have three packs of makeup remover wipes that are unopened and one that is currently open. So, you know, I have like, when I say cleansers, 22 unopened tubes, those are like foaming, gel, that kind of thing. Um, I didn't include them in my oil cleanser. I only have one oil cleanser, you know, currently open. So we're gonna work on those, we're gonna work on those. Um, for me, uh, facial mists, facial sprays, which is such a funny thing because I never thought I would use those and I always thought they were stupid and a gimmick and for suckers. Well, guess what? <laughs> I have seven bottles of facial spray unopened and I have one currently opened that I'm working on. So for toners, now toners, are really important in a Korean, like an Asian beauty skincare routine. So that's how I ended up accumulating so many of them. I didn't realize I had this many until I sat down and went through everything. I have 17 deluxe size samples of toners. So that's like the one ounce, two ounce size. And then I have two full size bottles of toner that are opened. So I'm working on those. Um, for vitamin C serum, I have two unopened and I have one currently opened. A vitamin C serum is something that's always going to be in my routine though so I will purchase that once I'm out because I use it daily. Um, essence, bottles of essence and if you don't know what essence is in an Asian skincare routine which is you know something I do. Um, essence is a very light form of hydration that you do kind of after you wash um, your face after your toner and essence is a moisturizer that's very light and preps your skin for receiving the treatments and the creams and whatnot that you're going to put on next so for essences i have one currently opened i have five unopened for emulsions and lotions and emulsions are also a very light moisturizer um sometimes they can be in categories with essences but I put them the ones I have go more towards a lotion they're thin very light hydration I have 20 unopened deluxe sample sizes so again that's like a one ounce half ounce one ounce two ounce size and I have two full size open currently and I have one unopened full size so 20 deluxe samples one full size, and then I have two that are currently open that I'm working on right now. Okay, so creams. Creams are like what I would consider like night creams. Um, I lumped my alpha hydroxy creams in with them, my glycolic acid creams. So any of my creams that I use, the heavier ones, basically at nighttime I use these. Um, I have 15 unopened deluxe sample size. I have five full size creams that are unopened. And I have three full-size creams that are opened. So I'm working on some of those right now. Um, for eye cream, I have two eye creams currently open. I have five deluxe sample size eye creams that are unopened. And I have one full-size eye cream that is unopened. For sleeping packs or sleeping masks, and these are... Um, like your last step in the Asian beauty routine, excuse me, they just give you extra moisture for dry skin. I have five of those that are unopened and four that are opened. Um, and those range in any size from like the Sephora pods. I have some of those to a full size jar, you know. Um, wash off masks. I have three tubes that are open of wash, ma wash off masks and I have one jar that's unopened. Um, I have one tube of makeup setting spray that I, no I have two, I'm sorry, I have one in backup that's unopened and I have one that I'm currently open but it's almost empty now. Now we're going to get into the body care. So that's like lotions. I didn't do shower gels because I don't have an issue with those. Um, I think I have maybe four or five in my stash and they, they get used so it's not a big deal so when I say lotions and body creams I'm talking like uh, the Bath and Body Works lotions my Avon lotions stuff like that 
I have five currently opened. And what I did to count these is I went through my closet, pulled them all out. I went through all my shelves, found ones that had been in the back. I went through and pulled out shelving because I think I had some that had fell behind that had dust on them, which I did. So I pulled everything forward to do a count for this. So these are my Bath and Body Works creams, body creams, lotions, and my Avon lotions. Um, so I have five opened and I have 21 <laughs> unopened. So I have a lot of lotion and body cream to get through. Now what I did was to make sure that I'm using these, I organized, I went ahead and I rearranged things in my bathroom. So I used to have my lipsticks all in their holders um, on a shelf, on top of a shelf right near my mirror. Um, what I did was I made room in the shelving where I store my makeup to put the lipsticks and I replaced, I put the body lotions and the body creams that are currently open up on that shelf instead. So as soon as I get out of the shower, I see the ones I have that are already opened and I'm working on them. So I have, like I said, I have um, five that are opened and I'm working on them. I have four Bath and Body Works and one uh, Avon. So I'm currently got two body creams I'm looking at them right now. One's that lush pink dragon fruit, one's Morocco orchid, and one uh, is uh, coconut vanilla. And then I can see one of my Avon ones is apple, but I can't see the other one. So anyways, those are the ones I'm working on. They're right there as soon as I get out of the shower ready to use because I figured, oh, I can't just jump in the window. I figured that I would have, it's better to put them there right there, you know, where I have, I can see them and I use them, whatever. So, and then I took the ones that were still new that hadn't been opened and I put them on a shelf and I made them go in order so that the ones that were the oldest were moved up to the front and the ones that have been purchased more recently. Like I purchased six body creams from Bath and Body Works during the holiday sale when they were $3. I put those in the back so they were the most recent. So I can use them in order that I purchased them and move through those. So 21 unopened bottles of body cream and lotion. That's crazy. And then for perfume, I have a lot of perfume. Some of them I don't use. Some of them I use for, um, like for my Avon business as demo. Now I do have some Avon perfumes that I use because I like them. But so I counted the ones that I use, the ones that I like and the ones that I use. So I have 17 full size bottles of perfume right now. 17. I have 16 mini size. And when I say mini size, I mean like deluxe samples, travel size bottles. Um, if you put in a code at Sephora and you get like a little mini bottle or whatever, those, so I have 16 of those and I have six that are in the roller ball size. So I have a plan, I'm working on those. I just don't have any specific ones because I just don't want to feel tied to do anything. I want to be able to use stuff as I feel like using it. But I'm not going to purchase any more perfume and I'm going to get those down. So, so, and then at the end of the month, even though this is really close to the end of the month, I'll still do an empties with things that I've already used from this stock. And I will update the totals and show you guys and I'll tell you the dollar amount that I used up. Now, as far as project panning goes, I'm really not into project panning. I really don't know how to make it work for me at this point, but I do have some things that I'm gonna show you examples of what I want to work on. So like with some skincare, here is one of my, um, one of my toners that is open. This is from Benton and it is the Snail Bee High Content Toner, or well, it's called Skin, but it's toner. And it's a liquid, I don't know if you can see it, moving around in there, but it's a liquid. It's a toner. I have marked the bottle where I'm at. I used um, like a white nail polish to, or a light nail polish to mark where the bottle is. So I am working on that. I want to get this finished. I don't really, this product is just okay. It's not one I love. It's not one I hate. I just want to get it used. And it says it's got an expiration date of December 9th, 2017. So I'm definitely going to have it used before then, but this is where I'm at right now. And I will mark it for the next video if I have made any progress. Again, I have like, here's one of my lotions that falls under the lotions and emulsions category. This is the Benton Snappy High Content Lotion. And I also have this marked. This one goes really slow because this product is super hydrating. <laughs> and so, I mean, it, a little bit goes a long way and it's going to take me a while. This also expires in December, so I don't know how long it'll take me to use it, but um, it won't take me the whole year, but uh, this is where I'm at right now with it. 
So that's what I'm, those are two things I'm definitely working on for sure that I'm going to show you guys progress on. Um, another thing is I have a couple makeup items, just like, I have these two Lorac eyeshadow singles, and um, this is one of them in cream, so you can see I definitely hit pan on that. Um, this needs to go, it just needs to be on its way out. I've come this far with it, I can finish it up, that's no problem, so I'm going to work on that. And then I have another one in taupe. Um, this one I have not hit pan on yet, but I don't think it's that far off. There's a good dip in there. Um, and this is a good uh, transition shade to use, so I'm not going to have any trouble. I've just had these for a long time, and they're really nice shadows, and they're very multi-purpose. Um, so I don't think I have an issue getting these two used up. This is um, a NARS... This is ridiculous that I haven't even finished this yet. This was my, <laughs> my NARS bronzer in Laguna and look at what I just have left in there. Isn't it crazy? I need to repress it because it's basically gone but still I'm going to finish up and when I d am finished up I'm going to toss it because the other side is the orgasm blush but it's but it's old and it's got hard pan and stuff like that but I'm going to finish the bronzer so I just have a little bit left in there but still for me that's a big accomplishment I mean to use something that that much up so so hopefully by the next update, maybe this will be gone. I hope it's winter time, so I'm not you really using too much bronzer. And then um, I have this. When it comes to perfumes, I have this. I want to use this all up. Um, actually, I didn't really count this in my totals because it's like sample sizes. But I bought this. This is the Juliet Has a Gun Discovery Kit. I bought this. Um, okay, VIB 2015. And what it is is. Um, it's just perfume samples so like they're like mini sprays I'd like to use this up and I have used one of them two of them these two right here I think you can see they have a little bit got some gone more than the other ones do so I'd like to finish these um, this year I don't see why I couldn't uh, that shouldn't be an issue and then also when I say like mini perfumes like these sizes uh, that I got in like discovery sets or like at holiday time, you can get those samplers. So like I got a sampler pack from Nest in uh, 2015 from VIB. Uh, these little bottles right here and they're, they're uh, point zero two fluid ounces. So that's not very much at all. You know, that's like a quarter of an ounce. And this one's the Paradise one, and this one's half gone. I don't think I'll have any problem with this one. I love this one. And someday when I need to purchase more perfume, I'm going to get a full size of this because I love this one. It's a beautiful citrus scent. But um, so like these size, I want to move some of these out. And then also, like I bought in 2015 from VIB, I bought these um, La Vanilla Little Rollerball Minis. Um, I can't see. These are half an ounce. Oh no, these aren't half an ounce. These are a little under a quarter of an ounce. So it's got a little bit less than, than this guy has. Um, this is the pure vanilla. So there was like five of these, I think, in the different scents. There's like a coconut vanilla and a lemon vanilla and a lavender vanilla. And I really, really like these, but they have started to change color. Uh, these two especially. The coconut, the vanilla coconut and the pure vanilla, they have changed color. Um, particularly the coconut vanilla is dark. And um, they all originally were like a light yellow so these two have changed color gotten darker they still smell really good they haven't turned or anything but I just know they need to go so I'm gonna be working on these also um, I also have two full-size bottles of perfume I should have grabbed them but I anyways um, one is an Avon perfume called Tahitian holiday for, um, it was a limited edition for a while it's a full-size bottle but I have very small amounts left in there I can put a picture of that on my Instagram and I have a bottle of pink sugar um, by Aquilina that is almost gone and uh, I want to move that out I'll put a I'll put a picture of those two up on my Instagram so that you can see them but those are things I'm working on uh, I might always bring more stuff in but I'm constantly going to be working. This year is a work in progress to get this stuff done. And like I said, my no buy. And when I say no buy, I realize I guess that it's not an authentic no buy because I will be purchasing Avon. But for me to not buy anything from Sephora 
or Nordstrom or sheet masks or anything like that. That that's a huge accomplishment for me if I can uh, uh, really stick to that and do that. And so um, I'm not really even considering my Avon because it's for business purposes more. Um, although I do use it, you know, it, it's not. Um, and I won't be buying like lotions and stuff like that. It'll just be pretty much cosmetic items or what Avon sends me for free because they do send me things a lot too that I use in videos. So. So those are just some goals I have um, for 2017. And I really feel good about it this time. I don't feel nervous. I, I actually, I have the um, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I purchased it at Christmas time when it came, like after Christmas when it came back under re-release. I haven't even used it yet. Um, I opened it and looked at it, but I haven't tried it. It's still in the box. And then um, I have some reward points to use at... Um, Nordstrom, I have some rewards to use at TJ Maxx, and I have some rewards to use at Kohl's. I have the Yes To You rewards that expire at the end of this month. So with those things, I might purchase, you know, makeup or whatever, um, but the, it's not coming out of my own pocket. And um, like if I, with the Yes To You rewards, I was considering purchasing um, some... Uh, what the Lorac Pro 3. I was thinking about getting that. And if I do, I'm just going to leave it in the box. I don't think I'll use it until a little bit later on in the year. When I start to feel that urge, when I start seeing spring makeup or summer makeup come out, I can open up that Too Faced Sweet Peach or open up that Lorac 3 if that's what I choose to get. Um, and kind of curb that urge to buy anything because here I am shopping my own stash and, you know, I didn't have to purchase anything so I don't know we'll just see but that's where I'm at right now I, I feel really good about everything I'm really committed my friend Janie um, she's also doing a no buy for 2017 she's decluttering and doing some different things I am not decluttering uh, I'm not gonna do that I've decided that if I don't declutter it might make it easier to shop my stash this year and um, I don't want to put myself into a box that's just me personally you know I don't want to box myself into a corner so so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I didn't declutter right now, so I'm just going to be content to use what I have. So um, thanks for watching. I know this was a lot of talky, 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 but you know how it goes. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And so like I will be doing a video at the end of the month or beginning of February showing my my empties that came out of that, that inventory that I just read off to you guys. And um, I will give updated totals. Uh, I will show it. A dollar amount of what I used and and that kind of stuff so um, wish me luck and if you guys are project panning or project use it upping also I wish you the best of luck this year and hopefully we can encourage each other and just enjoy what we have instead of always wanting more because isn't it so sad that we always want more and we're not satisfied with what we have I mean not just with makeup and skincare and perfume and thing monetary things but even sometimes still we don't even it's like Dorothy what from the Wizard of Oz you know a home is everything we need in our own backyard you know it's we've got it and but yet yeah, sometimes we're just still dissatisfied and I just have to learn to not be that way so it's a process right but thank you guys so much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video